What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs. Got through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. 10, 18 a.m., 12, 26, 2022. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so... I received a channeling. I hope everybody's doing well. A lot of lawsuit energy in here recently. A lot of lawsuit energy. I just want to throw that out there. A lot. <laughs> okay, so this daily tea for today. Um, I'm picking up on a little bit. Uh, if I get anything else, we'll just do it all in this reading. Um, hope everybody's doing well. I do. Okay. So the channeling I received was, I heard a, a Scorpio masculine that was involved with an illegal business of the past. I heard he's about to get sued soon from someone that he drug into the illegal business of the past um, that didn't realize it was an illegal business of the past, but they are getting a huge wake up call now and realizing it is. Um, one, one already got a wake up call and realize it is. There's at least two. Okay, there's at least two. There's at least two. So one is getting a wake-up call and realizing it was a legal business business of the past. One already realized it was a legal business of the past. There's at least two people about to sue him. Uh, it's a Scorpio masculine. He can have Scorpio and a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb in here in Jupiter charts. Uh, for some of you guys, I feel you might be the ones about to sue him. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Are you the... Low vibrational that doesn't treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values, Scorpio masculine, or you the person that already realized it was an illegal business and about to place a lawsuit on him regarding the illegal business you got drug into. You didn't realize it was an illegal business at first, but you did. Now you realize it. Or are you the one that is realizing it now or is about to realize it? You got drug into the illegal business of the past. You didn't realize it was, but now you're realizing it or you're about to realize it. However, you plug into the situation, okay? It's a Scorpio masculine about to get sued, though. And it he, he, it is not going to go well for him. You have substantial evidence. Okay, I heard it is not going to go well for him. You have substantial evidence. So whoever you are, if you resonate down here, you have substantial evidence. Um. How that resonates and applies. Holy crap, man. This is something. You plug it in. How it resonates. And a particular person that was donating to a Pisces reader. Really, 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 really donating to a Pisces reader. Pisces Femme reader. They have stopped donating to her and they will continue not to donate to her. They see the real truth now. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So maybe for one of you guys, I think you're that person um, or you're connected to that person. How that resonates and applies, energies can be reversed. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But one of you guys, uh, you d have been donating to a Pisces Femme reader. So a tarot card reader. Online public platform, a Pisces Femme, Pisces Feminine tarot card reader, online public platform. You have donated to her in the past. Very large amounts of money and items. Okay, you have donated very large amounts of money and items to her in the past. Um, but I heard you have already stopped doni donating to her. And you're going to quit donating to her and giving to her items or money or what have you whatever you were giving to her if the, you were this person because you realize the real truth now um maybe it has something to do with this illegal business of the past or not it does okay i heard it does oh my god that's confirmation it does it does it has to do with this illegal business of the past wow so this pisces fem reader that whoever you are that gave her large amounts of money and item or items or what have you what have you she is connected to this illegal business of the past or was but you have realized it i'm assuming because i heard you you know quit giving to her and you will not give to her anymore holy moly whoa and the whatsapp scammers are
are about to get serious legal action brought upon them. They are about to be pissed. Oh my God, they're just coming in. Whoa, I hadn't even pulled a card. Okay, I heard in the WhatsApp scammers, y'all know I got a channeling on that a couple weeks ago. I heard they're about to get caught and they're about to get caught by someone they would have never expected. Um, so I guess it's in the process um, or about to be. That's great because you know, those WhatsApp scammers have been on YouTube harassing YouTube terror readers, online platform readers for years, years. And that's just the truth. They're annoying as hell. Um, wow. Well, that's good. So um, I heard legal action is about to be brought upon the WhatsApp scammers. Um, and it's not going to go well for them. And it's not going to go well for them. People have reported them that they never would have expected to report them. And that is benefiting in a huge way. Okay, so legal action is about to be brought upon the WhatsApp scammers. Now, I don't know who's about to bring legal, legal action upon them. Um, they've been, I know they have been scamming YouTube platforms. So I don't know if it's YouTube legal team about to bring uh, legal action upon them or somebody else about to bring legal action upon them. But whoever is about to bring legal action upon them, I'm glad you are. If you're the one that's resonating, if you're helping bring legal action upon the WhatsApp scammers, because I know they've been harassing my platform. I had to report them about a week or two ago. And I'm not the only reader. There's They harass many readers' platforms all across YouTube, and that's just the truth. Um, but I heard many people have reported them that basically, I guess, either a platform didn't expect to report or somebody didn't expect to report. Um, and I guess that's what's about to precipitate or has precipitated the legal action to uh, be brought upon them. The legal action is about to start moving fast with the WhatsApp scammers. Okay, I heard the legal action is about to be uh, start moving fast with the WhatsApp scammers. Good, 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 because it should. That's one of the reasons why I was I got on here and I reported every single one I saw when they started doing it to me because I did the reading a couple weeks ago, a week or two ago, or something like that, that they were about to get caught. That all of a sudden on my platform. They started doing the same thing to me. So I got on there and I reported every single one to YouTube that I saw. And that's just the truth. And someone's YouTube channel that has been shadow banned for a very long time through many shocking series of chain events soon, it's about to be free. And it's about to go very fast. At least two readers. Okay, heavy tarot card reader energy in here. Okay, so at least two tarot card readers on a YouTube plat on the YouTube platform. Um, you plug yourself in where you fit. Um, definitely YouTube. Okay, confirmation. Definitely YouTube. Definitely YouTube. Uh, I was feeling YouTube. Definitely YouTube. Uh, at least two of you guys, your two readers, tarot card readers on the YouTube platform, your channel has strategically been shadow banned. If you don't know what shadow banning is, just Google it. Um, you get uh, People get unsubscribed from your channel. It doesn't get the view count that it's supposed to get. Um, you know, some people get, they have like 2,000 subscribers and they get 20,000 views. You could have 15,000 subscribers and get 2,000 views. That's shadow banning. And then people get unsubscribed from your channel out of the blue. I know my channel's been shadow banned and it's been shadow banned since not immediately when I created it, but shortly after. But when I created my channel, I also had a hidden camera in my house and people were voyeuring me. And still to this day, nobody has told me in my community that I had been voyeured through a hidden camera. I had to learn that through CPS report. Um, the six in a year, I might add, um, of my kids kept saying I was harming my kids, hurting my kids. There was no food in my house and all kinds of crazy shit. Six child protective service reports in a year. But one of them, when the uh, person came, she tried to remove my kids from the house. But uh, when I asked her what the report was, why I got reported, she said I was walking around in my bra and my underwear. Did she help get the police involved or the feds involved or get me some help? To remove the hidden voyeur camera? No. 
She tried to remove the kids from my house. So much so I had to lawyer up and get a lawyer to go to child protective services. And that's just the truth. I can only speak on my story, not anybody else, but that is the truth. But so anyways, uh, but back to it, at least two of you, but my point is when I started getting shadow banned, it wasn't shadow banned at the beginning, but there was lurkers through a hidden voyeur camera watching my every move through a hidden voyeur camera. So I think they knew somebody in YouTube and they had my shit shadow banned because at first mine wasn't shadow banned. I did a reading. I was getting like 800 views in like um, like 30 minutes or an hour or something. I had like two subscribers. And that's just the truth. But about a week or so after that, it went severely down. Severely down. So I know whoever was secretly voyeuring through my uh, house at that time in 2020... I know they knew somebody in YouTube to have a shadow band, is what I'm trying to say. So, now, is there a hidden camera in my house now? No, because they got what they wanted. They wanted my kids out of my house. They wanted me to suffer financially. They wanted me to have not have tax breaks to claim my children on my taxes. They wanted um, the Social Security and the child support that I got from my ex-husband to go to him. They wanted me to suffer financially basically, as a single woman. I know what those people were doing. And that's just the truth. But do, do I let it get at me down? No. No, I don't. And that's just the truth. Because I know who I am. And um, I'm a great mom. And I love my kids. And all the money I ever got for my kids and earned for my kids and had for my kids, I spent on my kids. And that's just the truth. So I did what I was supposed to do as a parent. Um, and, and that's just the truth. But people didn't like that that I was a good parent because it made them look bad. And that's just the truth. But I'm not them. I don't worry about them. What they did to me, they have to live with that the rest of their lives. And that's just the truth. And what they did to my kids. And that's just the truth. But so anyway, so Tilly, you guys are um, shadow banned on YouTube. You're shadow banned on YouTube right now, like I am. Um, I bring that up because I know that's what helped contribute to the shadow banning. And that's just the truth. Um, but through many shocking series of shame events, you're about to be unshadow banned. So, and I heard it's about to go fast. So I think view counts are about to go up. You're about to see view counts go up tremendously. Maybe more subscribers if they like your content or what have you, what have you. But I definitely think the view count is about to go up for sure. I heard take it. False person, reverse number eight. Could be very significant number one's life, number eight. The truth has come out and more is about to come out and things are about to start getting balanced out in a huge way. And a copyright infringement lawsuit is about to occur through many shocking series of shame events. Okay, I heard the truth has come out and more is about to come out and um, it's about to, um, uh, um, things are about to start speeding up in a huge way. Um, it could be the sh unshadow banning of at least two of you tarot card readers possibly. Or some other, maybe the lawsuit energy of this illegal business with this Scorpio masculine. Or what have you, what have you. Um, but, um, or yeah, I think the unshadow banning of the two tarot card readers. The lawsuit energy of you guys down here about to place a lawsuit on him. You have some kind of substantial evidence. And um, un the unshadow banning on YouTube. Um and something to do with the copyright through many series of chain events, a copyright infringement lawsuit is about to occur. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, a copyright infringement lawsuit occurs. Now, I'm not a lawyer, but this is what I know from my knowledge. Um, a copyright infringement lawsuit occurs when you s steal somebody's copyrighted work. Now, all my tarot card ratings are copyrighted. And I did that for a reason. Because when... The Secret Seven shit started happening to me and my family. People on YouTube were stealing my shit because they thought the Secret Seven was cool. But what they didn't realize is that was really real life for me and my kids. So they could have thought it was cool as they were sitting in the comfort of their house trying to steal and make money off me all day long. But the reality is I was really living that. Me and my kids were living it in real time life. So I went and had that copyrighted to protect me 
and my finances and my kids on the financial spectrum. And that's just the truth. But anyway, so through many shocking series of chain of events, truth has already been exposed. More is about to be exposed. False person reverse. Truth coming out. And um, copyright infringement lawsuit is about to occur for one person. So one person in the universe or maybe several Maybe you have been copyright infringed upon or you're about to deliver information to somebody that they have been copyright infringed upon. How that resonates and applies. Maybe for one, you have copyright infringed somebody. You plug it in how it resonates, but somebody has copyright infringed somebody's copyrighted work out in the universe. And through many series of chain events, the person that has been copyright infringed upon, they're about to learn information with the false person reversed they have been copyright infringed upon and they're going to place a copyright infringement lawsuit upon somebody just saying just saying Success reverse number 34 could be very significant number on one five. Low upright number 24 could be very significant number. Number 34, 24. And someone that has a severe sex addiction through many series of chain of events, their partners are about to start cutting them off. Oh my God. And someone that has a severe, I guess that's a success reverse energy. They're not going to have success in the sex department anymore. Um, they're very attractive, but very sick mentally and sexually. Okay. Uh, whoever this person is, for some, I feel you could be the one about to cut this, your, this person off. They have severe sex addictions. They can be masculine or feminine, I'm feeling. Um, they're very attractive, I heard. So they're physically, aesthetically pleasing. But they are they have mental health issues, um, like mental disturbances. And they um, have severe sex addictions. Um, and they're sick sexually. So I think they have at least one STD, if not two or two plus. Um, so obviously, if they're attractive aesthetically, obviously, they have no problem getting sexual partners because they look good but you can look good to the cows come home and be men and be mentally disturbed and whoever this person is masculine or femme they're mentally disturbed and they have some kind of sexual sickness so i don't know if it's herpes trick uh gonorrhea syphilis uh hiv aids what have you what have you some kind of std um at least one but they have a lot of sexual partners. They love to have sex. They're sex addicted. Um, and through many series of chain events, they're about to be cut, uh, their partners, partners plural, are about to cut them off. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. So they're not going to have any success in the sex department. Um, and they're, they're mentally disturbed in some straight form or fashion. Now, I didn't hear what kind of mental disturbance they have, like whatever mental health issue or issues they have. Maybe for some, you receive a text, email, uh, messenger, phone conversation about it because that's confirmation by phone. But um, they're about to get cut off. I feel for some, you're about to cut them off. You're about to cut off this very nice looking person that loves to have sex, but you know they have mental health issues or you're about to realize they do and they have some kind of STD, basically, sexual sickness, STD. It's about to piss them off in a huge way. It's about to piss them off in a huge way. They love to have sex. Um, and I, hell, I love to have sex too. But I haven't had sex in three years. Um, and if I have sex with you, um, my, my, my goodies are sacred. They're sacred. If I have sex with you, then one, there's a reason I'm having sex with you. And two, I don't want to be exploited, uh, abused, used, and human and sex trafficked and that's just the truth
You need to respect the P. Just saying, just saying. Or the D. But whoever this person is, they have a, they have like, like a dirty P, dirty D. And I'm just being for real. It's really nasty. Eh. Flow upright. And for one, you are about to start dating again. Not giving it out. Well, that's a, that's the smart way to go. That's a, whoever you are. I love it. So energy, energy, energy flow, flowing of energy, wheels moving, the wheel of fortune's moving. Um, you haven't dated in a while. You haven't dated in a while. So whoever you are, I think you're single. I think you're single. You're legally able to date, or unless you're married and your partner wants you to, uh, they don't mind you dating. I hope that resonates. I love being legally single. So. I can date when I want to, and that's just the truth. But for me, I haven't dated in a long time, but it's not, I just haven't wanted to, and that's just the truth. But whoever you are, you haven't dated in a long time either, and you're about to start putting yourself out there and start dating. Um, and um, But I heard no sex. So you're going to date, but you're not going to give out your D or your P. So flow's about to start moving energetically. Um, you're about to start putting yourself out there in the dating department. Congratulations, whoever that's for. Um, I might start dating. I don't know. Probably not. I have no interest in dating. And that's just the truth. I have no interest in dating. I just don't. Um, I just don't. Um, now, there was a time I was dating for a, a while. A long while. Um, because I wanted to find a good um, married spouse for me and my kids. But now that I don't have my kids right now, what's the damn point in that? And that's just the truth. Um so I might, I might not, but if I date, I'm not going to have sex either. So whoever you are about to start dating and not going to have sex, like you're going to go out and have good intellectual conversations or have fun or let somebody treat you nice or what have you, what have you, get to know somebody. Um, that's smart. Having sex on the first day or giving it out too early, it's like giving away the milk. Uh, it's like giving away the milk out of the cow. Nay, 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 nay. Uh, so whoever you are, congratulations, kudos, just saying to saying. Okay. Let me see if I get anything else. Let me check my phone real quick. And a very immature feminine and a very immature masculine that has once had a very a ton of connections all across the world. They're about to start losing a lot of them. Okay, and a um, very immature masculine and a very immature femme that uh heard they have a lot of connections all across the world but they're very immature so you know um they're immature uh th they don't act responsibly um they're immature i feel they probably are very selfish too i didn't hear they were but they probably are um if you're immature usually you are selfish and that's just the truth but anyways there's one masculine one femme but they have a lot of connections it sounds like strategically, strategically for strategic reasons all across the world. Um, so wherever they live, whatever country they live and elsewhere. But I heard um, they're about to start losing a lot of them. Um, maybe the connections that they have formed, they have grown up and these people are still immature is what I'm feeling. Maybe for some, you are the connections that they have formed and you have elevated and matured and maybe realized the tactics of these immature assholes. And that's why you're about to cut them off or you're uh, already have. How that resonates and applies. I feel for a majority of my collective, you are the ones about to cut these people off. But you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, 
I wouldn't want to be connected to these people either. Um, you're supposed to grow and elevate yourself, not stay immature. And whoever these people are, I feel they had them very strategic. They had these connections for strategic reasons. For very strategic reasons. For very strategic reasons, it's confirmation. They have these connections for very, very strategic reasons. So, yeah, I feel for a majority of my collective, you're these people. You're about to cut them off or already have cut them off. But they had you as connections for strategic reasons, um, whoever you are and how that applies, okay? An Aquarius that once had someone gang stalked very, very, very heavy for years. Through many series of chain events, they are about to be gang stalked. And it's not going to go well for them. It's about to exacerbate their mental health issues. And they're not going to let up. These people feel betrayed in a huge way. And they were. Oh my God, you plug it in how it resonates. That's why you should never orchestrate anybody to gang stalk anybody. And that's just the truth. Um, hashtag let's live in peace, just saying. Um, an Aquarius energy, masculine or feminine Aquarius. They can have Aquarius in any aspects of their charts. Whoever this Aquarius is, uh, orchestrator of gang stalking in the past. Um, they could have had you gang stalked or... Had somebody else gang stalked. How that resonates and applies. But this Aquarius energy had somebody very heavily gang stalked for years. So two or two plus years. Heavily gang stalked. But I heard there are many um, series of chain events. And this is about to happen fast. Okay, I heard it's about to happen fast. They're about to start getting gang stalked. So they had somebody else gang stalked. Whether it was you or somebody else in the past. Gang stalked in the past. It sounds like that cycle is completed. It is completed. Okay, I heard it's completed. It's completed. But now, these people feel betrayed and feel backstabbed by this Aquarius, it seems like. So now, they're about to start gang stalking the Aquarius. And I heard it's about to start happening fast with this Aquarius, the gang stalking. I heard they're not going to let up. And I heard it's, this Aquarius has some kind of mental health issue or issues. I heard it's going to exacerbate the mental health issues. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, these people feel betrayed though. That's why they're about to start gang stalking the Aquarius. Hashtag live free. Holy crap. And someone is about to overdose on prescription medication soon. It's about to lead to a death. A shocking death. But it should not be shocking. This person has been heavily medicated for a long time. Oh my God. That's why I believe in holistic medications, holistic healing, and no prescription medicines. I am not on any prescription medicines for myself personally. I don't want it, don't need it, don't want the prescription meds. That's just the truth. I believe in holistic healing. But somebody's been medicated and with big farm meds, it sounds like, for a hot-ass minute. And they're about to overdose on some kind of prescription medication. So uh, for one of you guys, they're about to be significant in your life. So I think you're about to learn about the death. I heard it's going to be shocking, but I heard it shouldn't be shocking because this person's basically been medicated, popped up, um, legal style, 
for a hot ass minute. Um, yikes. Just saying, just saying. In the many shocking series of chain of events, the child is about to request to get off a prescription medication. It's about to be the best thing that ever happened to them. And through many shocking series of chain of events, a child is about to request to get off a teenager, a teenager, a child, a teenager is about to request to get off a prescription medication. I heard it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to them. Um, they're going to have to be weaned off, but it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to them. Okay. I heard they're going to have to be weaned off. So whatever medicine this is, it's a very potent medicine. I think, I wonder if it's a black box, FDA black box medication. Uh, like Prozac. I didn't hear it was Prozac, but Prozac is near and dear to my heart because I know my kids are hopped up on that shit and they shouldn't be. And that's just the truth. Um, I, it's The wish in my heart is to have my kids off Prozac. And that's just the truth. Um, it's very dangerous medicine. Very, very, very dangerous medication. And uh, a lot of the signs and symptoms my kids have told me they've exhibit, exhibited has been signs and symptoms of serotonin syndrome, which is, contributes to usage of Prozac, which is a FDA black box medication. If anybody doesn't know what a black box medication is, Google it. It's dangerous to your health. And that's just the truth. But so anyways, um, uh, somebody is about to, uh, a, a teenager, I heard a teenager is about to request to get off medication. They're going to be weaned off of it, meaning they're going to have to taper down the medication so they don't exhibit, um, uh, experience, you know, um, whatever medication they're on, it's very, very potent and harmful basically. And, uh, if they just strictly, strictly just get off of it, it could cause more harm than good. So they'll have to be tapered down off of it. So lower the medication dosage until they can get off of it completely. That's basically what tapering means for anybody doesn't know. Um, so good. Uh, maybe you're a teenager watching this about to request to get off a very harmful. It sounds like you're on some kind of very harmful medication and you're about to realize you are, or you already have realized you are, and you're about to take your own health into your own hands and request to get off this medication. Kudos to you, teenager, if you watch. Um, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know what age you are. Only you know who you are, not anybody else. But kudos to you if you were the one about to take your own health into your own hands because um, you really have to be careful of the medicines they feed us in society. And that's just the truth. Big Farm makes millions and billions upon dollars every damn year off of people's illnesses. They want us to be sick for anybody doesn't, uh, that doesn't know this. They, Big Farm wants us to be sick. They do. Now, do they display that on their cutesy little ads? No. Because they come across like they want to help you get better. But in reality, they want you to pay the money or use your insurance to pay the money for the medicine, to keep funding them. But in reality, think about it before Big Farm and the pharmaceutical companies ever existed. People used holistic healing, natural herbs and uh, herbs and natural home remedies to help. And with whatever ailment or ailments they had, whether it was mental health, physical, or both. And that's just the truth. There's ways around it without padding big pharmaceutical companies' pocketbooks, i.e. Prozac, just saying, just saying. And any other harmful antidepressants. And that's just the truth. And someone secretly is a huge cocaine dealer on the side. Huge cocaine dealer. Their business is about to start going down in a huge way. Oh my God. And someone is secretly a, a secret cocaine dealer. A drug dealer? What? Someone's a secret cocaine dealer. A coke dealer. A dealer. The white powder dealer. Um, I heard their business is about to start declining in a huge way. Maybe for some, you've been getting the white powdery stimulant shit from this cocaine drug dealer. I don't know. You plug it in 
how it resonates. But if you all, if you have been, you're about to cut them off. I'll tell you that. So that's good. Um, hashtag no illicit drugs. Hashtag no big farm. Just saying, just saying. Yikes. Um, kudos to whoever's about to cut. I think, Phil, for a lot of my collective, you might have been um, getting the stimulant, the white powder, sniffy sniff stimulant from this drug dealer. And you're about to cut them off. Maybe you go find a drug, another drug dealer. Maybe you just quit taking coke. I don't know. I've never taken cocaine a day in my life, nor do I ever want to. I'm not a druggie, nor do I want to be. And that's just the truth. I love you guys. I'm getting out of this. And namaste.